This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Via Zone versus Williams. You've been dating three years, living together, but you, Miss Via Zone, have kicked Mr. Williams out recently because of allegations of cheating. Tell me all about what led to the kicking out. Yes, Your Honor. I'm here today because my boyfriend, Dante, is cheating on me with them skank bottle girls at work. Oh. I know he's cheating. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of being cheated on. I'm tired of... I'm just tired, period. I'm tired. And I'm here today for confirmation because I already know. This is more than a feeling for you. You are done. I'm done. I know. It's above me now. It's above me. Today, if I get my confirmation, he can come get the rest of his stuff and get out. And stay out. And stay out. I got you. Period. Mr. Williams, I hope you heard that. She's tired. She's done. She's crazy. (laughs) Oh! Oh, no, I'm not crazy, Your Honor. I just point out the truth. And he denies it, and he's a liar. She has no truth at all. You're gonna see that today, that he's a liar. Okay, I'm gonna need more than that she's crazy. I mean, she's made some serious accusations against you. She says she kicked you out of the house. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff that goes on. I mean, I'm a promoter. She knew she knew this when we first hooked up. She what are you promoting? Promoter. Booty? Like, what, what are you doing? You're supposed to be promoting the club and parties, okay? Because <laughs> what you got going on, that's some extra stuff right there. Well, Mr. Williams, how does it make you feel to be kicked out of the house, to be accused of cheating, and be standing here having to defend yourself? It makes me feel upset. It makes me feel upset. It makes me feel like she doesn't trust me. I don't trust you. I think that's you don't clear give me that she doesn't trust. trust you. But, I mean, without... Trust, you don't have a relationship, you know? And that's where we're trying to get to. How do you trust a liar, Your Honor? How are you supposed to trust a liar? Hold on, Ms. Vizzo. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is she like this all the time? All the time. I'm sorry. Wow. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) this is a lot going on up in that household. (laughs) Yeah. So, in order to have a relationship, you have to build trust. And that's what you're here to do. You want to rebuild that trust. Yes, Your Honor. By getting answers today to show her that you're not cheating. Exactly. Is that right? We about to see. All right. Yeah, they, they, they she are... Got, she got... She got some fire up under her. She does. Yeah. How did you two meet? Oh, well, okay, well... Well, hold on. Let me... Let me ask Mr. Williams. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. better. I, I tell it better. Uh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, it was one day we were at the club. Um, well, I was at the club. I was having a meeting with the, uh, with the owner of the club. Uh, the doorbell rung. As soon as the doorbell rung, I'm talking about it, it was like a white light just came through the door. And she stepped through the door, and I'm like, wow, you know? Really? She's kind of... <laughs> she's kind of, you know? I'm talking about it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you can see right... Yeah. Wait a minute, well, but wait, <laughs> what struck me, colors? Did you say he said, wow? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I had to take it back, because I, I saw it, you know, all over again, you know? And she came in. I'm thinking that she was going to be a bottle girl, you know, a waitress or something like that. Hell she no. said, oh, no, I'm here to be a bouncer. A bouncer? Yes. <laughs> well, look, I mean, even from up here, she almost even with me. So how, how tall are I'm you? six feet tall, Your Honor. Okay, well, yeah, she could bounce. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Man. And that makes me even wonder why you messing her up. Cause I mean... She can... I was there for a bouncer position because I'm a martial artist, so he know I'm a whip his <laughs> when I find out <laughs> today. Well, we, we don't... We... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I hope you mean that figuratively because we don't want to encourage. Oh, no, no, I meant to. No, I didn't mean it like that, okay. Your Honor. Okay. So, Ms. Villazon, oh. why do you think he's cheating? We're supposed to go out to dinner and an hour goes by and I'm calling Dante and he's not picking up the phone. I'm calling him one, two, three, gets up to 20 times and he never answers his phone. So, why she gotta call you 20 times and you late, man? My phone was dead. There's <laughs> no plugs where you were at? Huh? Ain't no, huh? Okay. What? So his phone's dead. All right, so you're trying to call him 20 times, no response. Yes, what happens? Okay, so about an hour and a half later, wow. he comes strolling in the door. No kiss, no I'm sorry, babe. You know, nothing like that. He comes strolling in the door, walks straight past me, and heads straight to the bathroom. Okay. okay. So then I'm like, what's going on? So I go follow him and I go to the bathroom. As soon as I open up the door, what do I see? Him with his pants down, soaping up a rag, getting ready to wash off his private parts. So oh. why are you washing off your private parts only? And you're not taking a shower. You just want to wash this one area only. Why? Yeah. You know? I'm like, why? And you why? just and you just so, bust in the bathroom and saw this. Absolutely, we live together. He's my man. So I walk in. And when I see this, I immediately go down to sniff his private parts. And it smelled just like Zex. Wait a minute. I'm I'm sorry. You you immediately go and you sniff him. I sniffed. 
Well, you don't have a problem with it. Any T- time. TMI, Mr. Cole, is that too much information? <laughs> no, it's not too much, but we're gonna move on. Okay. okay so. <laughs> Not only did I smell him, but I found a blonde hair. I'm not blonde. A blonde hair in his pubic hairs. Can okay. I please, can, I, can I present Exhibit B? Okay. Oh, let me see what Exhibit what B exhibit is. Exhibit B for busted, blonde. <laughs> what what is... Okay. Yo, can you remember this? Nah, oh. no. Ron, 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 would you bring that? that? Ms. Okay. Pizzo, what, yes. what is this that we're looking at? That's oh. the hair that I found that was wrapped up inside of his pubes. <laughs> now, does that look like my hair? No. Wow, that's baby. a oh, lot of hair. hair. No. <laughs> yeah. That's a, what was you oh, doing? Yeah, what did you have going on? How do you explain that? Being a promoter, we had photo shoots that we had to do that day. Man, photo shoot. Oh, uh, hold, hold on, hold on, Ms. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Please talk. Uh, go ahead. I'm so, sorry, Your Honor. So, you know, she already knew that we had a photo shoot. I don't know how long she thought it was gonna be, but I'm in the middle of the hallway. All the all the dressing rooms are already taken or whatever, so I had to go in the girls' dressing room. I put my bag in the girls' dressing room, and, I mean, you know what happens in a, a women's dressing room. I mean, you got wigs, you got hair. Okay, so this is why this doesn't even make no sense. Thank you. All right? You. So I'm gonna break it down for a brother. All right? In order for this alleged wig hair, this long hair, to get wrapped up in your private area, it would have had to slip between you and your underwear. Thank you. But it wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't in my private area. She's kind of exaggerating a little no, bit. No, I'm not exaggerating, when, Your Honor. When she found it in my pants... But here's the right. thing. Yes. Even if that, even if you accept that crazy, and I don't, for those of you keeping score. Thank you. Why you run home and wash only that part of your body? Why you just walk straight that, past there and wash that? That's what she walked into. I had already washed the, every, all the other parts of my body. That doesn't so even she make walked sense. into she walked into me cleaning sense. down there. I just tried to hurry up and do something, you know. I mean, when you got a crazy person that walk in on stop, you, of stop course you don't. Crazy. You no, see, I'm crazy. not crazy. Ms. Viazone. Yes. Hey, do you have any other reason? Have you found anything else that makes you think he's cheating? Absolutely. So, there was a new bottle girl, bottle girl that started about six months ago at work. And he's been flirtatious with her, flirty with her. He says it's part of the job, but it's not. But those bottle girls, they're like that. In order to get more money, they like to flirt with the promoters so they can get the tables that they want and get more money. So, I was at the club one day, working at the front door, and I look back and he's dancing with her, you know. Next thing I know, he goes and he disappears back by the kitchen area. Now, back there by the kitchen area is where he usually takes me to kiss up on me and, to, you know, while we at work to sneak. Well, I go back there and I follow him and her, and when I walk in, he's leaned up against her, like, going in for a kiss. Mr. Williams. Who is this other woman that you were kissing up on at work in the spot that you kiss on Miss Via's own? It's no other woman at all, Your Honor. I mean, we have girls that take the money at the door. At the end of the night, we have to take that money back to the back. It's a liability thing for the club. So, you know, you don't want to take, you know, count money in the front, you know. Lies. He's smooth talking. Uh, well, See, he's smooth talking you. You know the bottle girl that I'm talking about. I mean, when we got to the back and, you know, we counted the money. Dante, are you serious? the money and everything. You're after in court. We, after we did that, You're in she court gave right me a now. hug You're telling me bye. Hold on, Ms. Vizzo. Oh, Go she, ahead. She, gave, she leaned in, gave me a hug, telling me bye, whatever like that. She walks in. Of course, we're gonna be startled. I thought there was I no have, girl. I have... Shoot, look at her. She tall as I don't know what. She gonna hurt somebody. Okay, so you admit <laughs> that you were in close proximity with this young woman. Yes. It's like that always happens. Like, other stuff be going on, and then when she come in, it looked like something that it really wasn't. Well, there are two explanations know? for this. One is she always just happens to walk in at the very moment it looks like something's always going on, or something's always going on. <laughs> It's just a coincidence. All right, have you ever seen him with this woman since then? I have, Your Honor, and I have my friend who works with me who has seen him with her as well and has told me that. All right, so, Ms. Uh, Viazone, you have a witness. Could you please stand and come to the podium? Yes. Could you give your name for the record? Yes, I'm Mr. Fosselman. All right, how do you know the uh, the plaintiff? This is my best friend. We've been friends for about eight years. Best friend. <laughs> All right, so you know something about these bottle girls. Tell me what oh, you of know. Of course. You know, I moved down here, and uh, she told me, you know, that she was going to introduce me to uh, Mr. Dante over there, and uh, he was going to show me the ropes. And uh, I find myself just kind of just picking up 
his slack because he's always in the back with the girls. Oh. Okay. And I'm trying to help you out, though. Have you actually seen him in the back room doing something with these women or just see him in the back room? I just see him go in the back room and just don't come back. But All you right. done been back in the back with her, though, too. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you didn't think I knew about that, huh? Yeah, okay. Mr. Foster, who are these girls he's back there with? Are you talking about patrons or these? They're are... bottle girls, bottle, bottle girls. Bottle girls. Yeah, they all go through him. Mm -hmm. So do you think he's cheating? Absolutely. And you think he's cheating with these bottle girls? Yes, absolutely. All right, thank you very much for your testimony. You. Uh, have a seat, please. You know, we keep hearing a lot about these bottle girls. Right. And, and I think I have an understanding of what they do at clubs, but I want to get a better understanding. And so the court has invited some ladies here to shed some light on the club environment and what bottle girls do. Ron, would you please escort them in? Yes, Your Honor. Ladies. <laughs> All right. Please explain to the court what a bottle girl does or what you do. So, bottle service is basically an exclusive concierge service at the club um, for VIP guests. Um, so, basically, if you want to come out and you're celebrating something like a birthday or a promotion, you just want to pop a bottle with some pretty ladies, um, that's what we provide for you. So, do bottle girls typically date promoters? Hell yes, Your oh. Honor. <laughs> Let me tell you. Boom. The better my relationship is with the promoter, the more money I make. Mm. Mm. All right. And the whole reason of this is so that you can make more money. Exactly. You gotta pay our bills, too. So you would not be surprised that, in fact, Mr. Williams is dating somebody because she's trying to make more money. I wouldn't be surprised, Your Honor. No. Well, ladies, thank you so much for your enlightenment and testimony. Ron, would you escort our guests Yes, out? Your Honor. Ladies. All right. <laughs> Well, this court has done a complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence to determine, is he cheating? Rob, is this court in Dave Lawrence. Yeah, how are you? How are you, Mr. Lawrence? Just fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm great. It's good to see you. For the court record, could you state your credentials? Yes, ma'am. I'm a retired law enforcement veteran of 30 years. I've been a polygraph examiner for the past 26 years. I've conducted thousands of polygraph tests as well as taught classes and helped train other police officers to be polygraph examiners. All right. You got the classic look of a man that's nervous. <laughs> you got a reason to be nervous? No, I just, I mean, I love this woman with all my heart. Pass or fail, I'm, nothing's gonna stop that. Pass or fail? <laughs> That's okay. is that, is, is, do you have a reason to think you're going to fail? No, no, not at all. You sure? Positive. All right, go ahead, love. Mr. Lawrence, you asked Mr. Williams, was the blonde hair your girlfriend found on your body from a woman with whom you had physical sexual contact? What was his response to that question? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being. The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Man, I'm around women all no, the time. No, now we get. Uh, 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 you might as well tell the truth. She's already kicked you out the house. She get ready to kick you to the curb. So you might as well tell her. It's nobody else. All right, Mr. Cutler, Mr. Lawrence. You asked Mr. Williams, since the start of your relationship with Ms. Villazone, have you had sexual intercourse with any of your co-workers slash bottle girls? What was his response to that question? He said no, Your Honor. Hmm. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. Whoa! So all oh, you sleeping with the bottle girls then, huh? You you sleeping with the bottle girls, right? I'm All right, right. Right. I do but need you to step back. Oh, yeah. but you weren't. I'm sorry. You were okay. Wait till we wait till we get home. Wait till wait wait. Again, it's not like she doesn't know. She just wants the details so you all can figure out if you're going to move forward. No, they ain't moving forward. No, moving forward. no. no. thank you. Okay. Here's a look. He's going to do what he's been doing. So I'm gonna just talk to you. Yes, ma'am. All right, you can listen, but I'm done. Even though you're a strong woman. 
and you're, you're definitive, you're hurt. I see the tears standing in your eyes and I, and I wouldn't expect anything less. But you know what? What you need to do is go make yourself whole and then go and, and meet that man who will appreciate you and all that you bring, all your facets. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right? Yes, ma'am. All right. And Mr. Williams, what I would say to you is you need to take a, a deep look inside first. Even if you don't want to admit it to us, you don't want to admit it to her, you need to first admit it to yourself. We have counseling. We want you to talk to our counselor to figure out how you are going to move forward from this place. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a healthy and a happy and a truthful relationship. Court is adjourned.